for the love of the automobile. 2016 New York International Auto Show. We have here the Toyota Prius Prime for 2017. I started in the back because of this very, very unique shape off of the rear spoiler. This is not the standard Prius. You've got a boomerang type, but a racetrack design. This is all lit up LED and look at the curve. This is to help aerodynamics in some case. I don't know, you know, the CD is the same as the regular Prius, I believe. Standard, you know, Prius Prime badging, lower diffuser, all the underbody panels are there. And instead of having that Prius drop for the rear tail lamps, it's set up on top and then its own separate on the bottom. I actually like that. That's the best part of this is that rear end and the floating roof design and the curves in there. It's just really, really cool, the glass panel. The wheels are slightly different. They're 15s. There's no uh, garnish or anything around the belt line or in the rocker panel area. Moving up front, the plug-in hybrid. Here's a few details you can see. It's an 11 6 HD screen we're going to see in a minute. 22 miles of range. That's the real key. Moving up front, it's slightly different as well. And here's where I'm going to show you where it really makes a difference. See those lamps? Those are quad LEDs, all LEDs, and then LED fogs up and down. And even a different fascia, some piano black, some flat black uh, surfaces there. All pretty nice. Side to see what we have. I've never even been in this Prime. It's been so busy here at the show of people trying to get in and out. Look, standard interior. You know, this is Prius uh, inserts, soft touch, plastics, a little pad, piano black around the controls. Those are backlit, chrome handles. Nothing really there to speak uh, speak of that's gonna make or break this car, but we go inside and then it's a different animal. Power seats with all the electric, this is a pretty fully loaded one. I don't know if there's gonna be two trims or not, but I'm gonna show you where the key is. Bingo, right there. That's 11.6 inch screen. We're gonna talk with Anthony Novak, the in-cabin technology educator for Toyota Marketing. And he's gonna give us an overview of what we're gonna see from this beautiful 11.6 inch and very, very fast display from what we've been uh, already seeing. Go ahead, Anthony. Oh, thank you, sir. So this is the new 11.6 inch uh, multimedia display. It's high definition, 1920 by 1080, so full HD. Um, you can see the screen here. You have the navigation mat, obviously a big view of the navigation mat. Uh -huh. You can see the traffic we provide through HD radio. We have intuitive controls for climate and audio, as you can see down here. So you can easily access them and access your climate, and you get the full climate screen and the full navigation screen, which is a nice benefit. Um, we have the same with our um, audio. Um, so you can sit here and get your full audio screen. Um, you can see all types of information um, with it and then you have the navigation up here. So like I said, the ability to not compromise any of those functions um, um, with this. And it's very intuitive in terms of, as you can see, a swipe down. Mm -hmm. Very fast, um, accessible here at the bottom where you can just simply swipe and go to um, additional features very easily. Well, I noticed even the pinch and zoom you can do yep. with on the screen. Correct, yeah, you can just pinch and zoom, yep. So yeah, you, I can kind of show you. But, yeah, you can do that and then you can come in. Usually what you do in a lot of our, our videos, Sure, you standard and that's zoom, yeah. but you can actually do there. Yeah. And it's also got another unique feature about uh, traffic. You want to bring that uh, time to distance kind of thing up? Can yeah. you bring that up? Yeah, so our traffic you see here, the flow data is uh, um, through HD uh, radio. Um, we also have um, um, the ability to do predictive traffic. What this that, is cool here, watch this. this. Does is basically you see your predictive traffic it uses historical information to see what that traffic is going to be like in 15 minutes, and you can see it changes. Um, 30 minutes, 
and then 45 minutes. So you can see the changes. So it lets you know when that congestion is going to die up. Because sometimes what you will happen is like you have a traffic jam caused by an accident. So maybe you don't. Maybe you want to run an errand before you go home. So that's actually a pretty cool feature. Um, the other great thing about this vehicle is actually our charge schedule. You'll see down here. This charge schedule, which you can access through the uh, vehicle, you can charge now. Mm -hmm. That means you plug it in, it yep. starts charging. You can also do um, charge start. I want to charge like in the middle of the night, take yep. advantage of off peak energy time. And you have access to through this, through your smartphone app you too. Through your smartphone. Mm -hmm. And you can do departure. You can do like Monday through Friday, I leave at 7 a.m. It fully charges and then you can turn the climate. So it turns the climate on 15 minutes before. So it prepares your cabin as well as doesn't use your EV uh, um, um, battery. So you can maximize your range once you get on the road. Okay. And to your point, you have, we have an app called Charge Management. If you say you have to get up early in the morning, go to the airport, um, you can change that. I go up two hours early, it's going to make sure it's charged, and it's going to start the climate at, at say, 5.45 as opposed to 7.45. So. Yeah. Well, uh, in, my, in the quick use I've had in here, um, I've seen it's a super fast screen, super high res, and I love how it does split screen that you can actually use. You know how we've all seen split screens on 7 and 8 inch displays. They're not quite enough. This is big enough to do both, and it's fantastic. Again, thank you very much, Anthony, and I appreciate your time here at the 2016 New York International Auto Show. Thank you very much, thanks for listening. Let's check out the displays and see what we have. Calendar, yeah. We don't want to set calendar. No. <laughs> what other kind of displays? Big battery, your standard uh, HSI, that's typical. Fuel consumption record, drive monitor. Those are all kind of standard fare and a drive monitor too. Now this is this is a little different than the Prius, and I'm not sure where that comes from. Sir, yeah, because some of the, the lights are disabled for like so they don't turn on. So you might see some messages there. That are okay, not and that's that's fine. Yeah. And as we work our work our way through the displays, you know that's the basic system ones. Now let's go to the trip. You can see how things change there. And. Again, this is just prototype and, you know, these mile per gallon mean nothing because uh, it was just driven in here, probably driven from the port. The standard uh, Softex wrapped wheel, standard controls, all high end, nothing, nothing especially there. Uh, good to see that the black is all good and that means it is piano black and I see already some scratches so you're going to see that, a QI charger. I'm not a real fan of the white... Uh, inserts but you know that's okay and of course it's very very comfortable a little short on the seat bottoms but I can't do much about that and we let's move up to the top and we have the standard cloth headliner we got the feature line inside the a-pillar love that portion and oh the lights whoa that's different okay so they figured that one out now still no extension so there is that gap just like the regular Prius but they do have sunglass holders, so there is a plus there. Now, this is a setup for me, uh, not the steering wheel distance, but the uh, seat distance to the pedals. I'm pretty comfortable right now. And let's see how we fit in the back. Again, we have the same insert like, soft touch, probably a backlit rear uh, switch there. How do we fit? Yep, it's just like the regular Prius. There's not a lot of room, but there's enough room. Nothing wrong with that. And then when we talk about the drivetrain, 22 miles of all-electric range, 84 miles per hour top speed under EV. So that's new and that's different, and it provides an efficiency boost. It's not meant to be driven electric, and no plug-in is. They're, they're meant to use electric where it makes sense back and forth to work. It doesn't have to be. If you're at 150 miles per gallon, electric doesn't matter because that's what it is. It's there to boost your efficiency, not to just allow you to drive as an electric car, even though a lot of people think that's how it's supposed to work. Remember, carrying a battery, the bigger the mass, the lower your efficiency, and we're all about efficiency. So that gives you a little bit of an interior and exterior overview, some of the displays, and then that beautiful screen. It's just uh, really unique, and it stands out, and I hope they sell a ton of these. Live from the New York International Auto Show in 2016, we're in the Prius Prime, plug-in hybrid, 22 miles all-electric range.